Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial from Evo Gimbals. Today, I'm gonna show you how to balance your Rage S and your Rage. So, I'm gonna start off with the Rage S and show you a little bit of the difference between the two. Really on the tilt axis, that's the biggest difference on this one. The Rage S has got a little adjustment right here with a plate that allows you to move the camera back and forth on this plate. The Rage has slots, and um, this also has a slot that you can move the camera back and forth this way. So the idea with this is just to get it balanced as good as you can. When you are using one of these kind of cameras, this is an RX100, this has a lens that will pop out. So you wanna balance it with that lens out because that is how you're gonna be shooting with it. So you can see that my tilt is balanced there it's not flopping around one way or the other. My roll is balanced here. And then my pan, if I go ahead and I move this to the left or to the right or upside down, it's not trying to flop over and straighten itself out. So when you do start this up, you'll see that the motors just don't have to work very hard to get that to stay level. So now it's on, it's working and the motors aren't straining at all. So that's what you want to do. It's gonna save your battery life. It's gonna save your motors. Um, so keep that in mind. And also a good test when you turn it off, you could see I just turned the power off, but nothing flopped over one way or flopped forward or flopped backwards. When I do turn this off and you see that the lens goes in, it's gonna fall backwards because I don't have it balanced for this with the lens inside so that being said we are going to go ahead and show you on the rage the difference here you can see it has the slots and it has three different slots so you want to adjust your camera the best that you can and get it as close to this motor as you can when you are setting it up so this is obviously in the middle slot right here um, i'm going to go ahead and just mess up my gimbal my i'm going to move these around and I'm going to make it really screwed up. So that way I can show you how to balance it. So we have the camera as close to the motor as we can. We're using the middle slot and we want to, first of all, we're going to adjust the tilt. And so we're going to move the camera back and forth until we get that absolutely perfectly balanced. So I'm going to go ahead and hold this back motor like this. And what we want to do is we want to move it back and forth until we get it so that it's not falling forward or falling backwards. So right now what it's doing is kind of a swinging action, which is telling me that I have this adjustment too low. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up and we'll pull this up to where we think it should be. And then we're gonna go ahead and point it down, point it up. That's really close right there. So you wanna go ahead and just kinda get that set so it doesn't like drop one way or drop the other way or swing if you have it too high, it's gonna to wanna to flop down. So that's actually pretty close right there. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the roll, which is this axis. If you see, I'm, if I let go of it, it's gonna fall this way. So what I wanna do is loosen that up and slide this over just until it wants to kind of stay even. So it takes a little bit of tweaking and some micro adjustments, but if I do that and I do that, that's actually really good. So it's good centered. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. But the reason that it's kind of coming back into the center when I go like this is because this is actually a little bit low. So I'm gonna do a really, really small micro adjustment on this. And then that should fix that. So now that's gonna stay and that's gonna stay. So that's actually really, really good right there. Now we're going to go ahead and do the pan. So we're going to tip it forward like this. And I'm going to go ahead and what you want to do is be able to turn it like this and then let go of it and have it stay there. Obviously, it's kind of doing that swinging action. So what we want to do is we're going to push this back. So I'm going to loosen this on the pan adjustment. We're going to slide this back just like that. I'm going to try it again. It doesn't really matter how you're holding that, but what you want is it to stay right there. 
and your other axis can kind of move around that's okay but as long as it kind of just stays there and it's not trying to fix itself by going coming back up which it's doing a little bit so i'm going to go ahead and adjust this one more time push it back just a little bit just a tiny little micro adjustment we'll go ahead and have it there have it there that's good have it there that's good have it there that's good we have got this balanced really, really well right now. So you can see if I let go of it, it's going to kind of stay right where we want it, which is awesome. So when I turn this on, you'll see again, your motors are not having to work really hard to get that to stay. It doesn't take very long to learn this. And once you do it a couple times, it's super fast, but it's really not a big deal. So like I said in the beginning, a really exciting tutorial from Evo Gimbals here. I do want to show you this before we go. This is a little lens support. So if you do have a big lens on here and you want to go ahead and put this on, it just goes on right here. This tightens it up, gives you a little bit extra support on your lens. So I'm not really going to use this because this lens is not really heavy enough to justify it. So I don't really need it. So again, like I said, Another really, really exciting tutorial from Evo Gimbals. Stay tuned. I'm going to make the next one even better.